Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking toilets and today's video, the step-by-step -step process on how to remove a toilet from a hardwood floor surface. Let's get started. All right, YouTubers in the bathroom now, we are working with an old standard toilet on wood floor. Step number one, we are going to turn off the water. Come to your shut off valve and turn it to the right. Cut all water from the toilet. From here, flush and hold. Get all that water out of your toilet. Once you don't hear any sound, let go of the lever. We will then remove the tank lid and remove any additional water inside the toilet and tank with a sponge. Tank lid removed, toilet seat up. Some people grab a plunger and carefully plunge out some of that water left inside the toilet. You're not gonna get it all out but you'll get a lot of it out. Once you get to a point where the plunger is not getting any more water out, it's time to grab that sponge. With the sponge in hand, I recommend one-time use only, YouTubers. After using this to drain the water out of the toilet and tank, this is going bye-bye. And just carefully remove all the remaining water. I recommend wearing gloves for sanitary purposes. Making progress, I removed as much of the water inside the toilet as I could. Come inside your tank, and if your float looks like this, you have thread, just to give us better clearance to get the sponge in here to get that water out. I'm going to remove this float, and I'll set that in a safe location. With that float now removed, I can get my sponge in here and get all that remaining water out of this tank. I want as much of that gone as possible. After removing all of that water from the tank, what I like to do with the sponge is put it back in the toilet so it can soak up any water that's remaining in the toilet as we pull this toilet off the floor and remove it from the house. From here, I'll close the lid. Next, in most cases, you have a bead of caulk or silicone around the base of your toilet. Grab a utility knife, the sharper the blade, the better it will cut. And be extremely careful if you're working with wood floor, you do not want to cut or gouge or destroy any portion of your hardwood. And just run this blade and break that seal that the silicone or caulk is creating. As you cut, chances are a lot of that silicone or caulk will come out in big chunks like this. And after cutting that bead, go ahead and store your utility knife so you don't cut yourself throughout the remainder of the project. From here in our case, we've got a ratchet and socket 9 16 You've got a nut on the left side and a nut on the right side. Go ahead and remove both nuts. Next, grab a throwaway rag or towel and place it around your shutoff valve as shown here because what we're going to do is grab our adjustable wrench and remove the connection point for your supply line. And we've got that rag down there to catch any water that spills out. After the nut is removed, carefully pull up as shown here. And it's not draining a lot because we did our best to remove all water from the internal portion of the tank. Now the fun part, we are going to put one leg on each side and left hand under here, right hand under here, and we are going to carefully teeter-totter pull the toilet up and off the threaded studs down below and remove the toilet altogether from the bathroom. Next, that same rag we had here to catch any water, go ahead and insert that inside the plumbing here. This is to prevent any sewer gases coming into your bathroom. In addition, I highly recommend that the rag or towel that you insert into the plumbing is not small enough to fall down in the plumbing. That would not be good. So that is it, YouTubers. As you can see, pretty friendly DIY project as long as you have the proper tools and you are well prepared. From here, we are going to make a separate video on how to install a brand new elongated toilet. So in the event that you want step-by-step -step guidance on that, the link is scrolling above. Definitely check that out. In addition, the old toilet is now bagged up in a black 50 gallon bag and I also have the water supply line inside the bag to prevent any leaks as I pick this up and move it out to the garage and into the truck and off to the junkyard. So that is it YouTubers. Hopefully this helps. Do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us and we would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you at the next video of installing a brand new elongated toilet.